let's see if I can let's see if you guys can get over to the other stream in a second, but hang on a second, we'll get going with whatever this is. Um all right. Here's let's the see link. If I can Okay, we're live on both streams. So both streams are up. Here's the link to the other one in case anybody wants to jump over there. Um, let me see. I'll just put that there for a second, and we'll figure it out afterwards. All right, we'll figure it out afterwards. Um, okay. Link. Put that there. I'm going to tell you guys what's up in a second. Don't worry. I'm sorry to leave you hanging. We'll get it one second. We'll get it going. Yo, E-Man, what's up? Eddie Guns is here. The Ghost from the Coast. Garguts is here. Killer of Demons is here. Yeah, so, I mean, I still actually have some kind of... I don't know what's going on with me, man, but I have this pain in the back of my neck and down my face and cheeks. and It's like my teeth hurt. I don't know if it's sinuses or allergy or whatever, but my eyeballs were killing me last night and I passed out. What's up? Mommy did, told me that there was only shampoo. Mommy said that to me. Go ask her. Go show her that. Go show her that. Yeah, that's her fault. Where'd you get that? Where, did she say that? She, did she say she made a mistake? Like, oh, we do have it. Is that what she said? So she lied to me. Good. Go call her a liar. What is she doing? Is she sleeping? Hey, close my door a little bit so the heater warms me up a bit. I'll be up in a minute. Or a few, I'll be up in a little while. Keep an eye on your brother for a minute. He's on my phone. Make sure he doesn't download something weird like Monopoly Game 7. What? I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah, I I, pa I literally had um, like uh, flashes in my eyes and massive like headache that was murdering me. And I sort of just like, it, it hurt so bad I was falling over. I felt like I was going to fall over. So I laid down for a minute on my floor, right here on my floor. Um, and um, I passed out. And mostly it was because I hadn't slept. I really had not slept. I slept two hours. So I hadn't slept and uh, I just passed the hell out last night. And yeah, I woke up at like around in like, at 11.50, Leah attempted to wake me up and was like, why aren't you doing the show? And I was like, I'm, uh, I just went back to sleep. And she's like, okay. And then uh, I woke up again at like 3 in the morning and I came and looked and was like, oh, my God, you know, whatever. I went back to sleep again. And then I finally woke up at like uh, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. or No, it was 9, or 9 a.m. when I woke up this morning for good. And so, yeah, that was what happened. I woke up still with kind of a headache. I still had a migraine. Do a little basketball so, dance off the concrete. Bashar. I mean, I'm just so sick of you little meth head devil worshippers. I'll be honest, I'd like to take a big bite out of your why face. Is, why is there a duplicate thing? Oh man, the 49ers defense absolutely murdered my Dolphins. It doesn't really matter because Miami will smack the Chargers next week. 49ers will make it close to the AFC championship with that defense. USA men looked garbage against the Netherlands. I just can't believe that you guys lost. Like, you know what I mean? Um, all right, guys. Um, I'm heading over there to the other channel, so come on over there. Okay. It's, just, it's not going to work. Come on over there to the other channel, everybody. Here we go. Um, let me get over there. All right. So monetize this. We're going to end that stream. There you go. We should be live now on the uh, on the other channel, on the mainstream. So hopefully we're good here. Um, how how are we doing here? We doing all right? What's up, everybody? Did you guys get booted off the other place? Yo, Andre Peasy, the Bills are actually looking good again, man. What's up? So yeah, hopefully you guys get over there. Get over here. Um. All right. So let's see. I think everybody's coming over here to the mainstream now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. We should be good now, live on one stream. I ended, I ended the monetized with this one. Monetize this has been on the disabled list for three weeks. That's true. 
with uh, WWE one week, uh, AEW the week before, and then the last night I passed out. That's what happens when you you know go back you know and you're working like crazy. Um, yeah, the Vikings. Uh, I remember, I remember the other day I picked the Vikings to go to the Super Bowl over, you know, what I mean the Eagles. So, I think the Eagles might. You know, it's going to be Eagles and Vikings in the NFC. Eagles versus Vikings NFC, and then I'm going. Um, I think it might actually come down to. Uh, fuck, I don't know, man. It's going to be between the Bills and Miami. Whoever faces, I think Kansas City. I think someone's going to face Kansas City in the AFC uh, championship. And I don't know which one of those it's going to be. Friday's show was really good, though. That's the good. That's the good part, Terpa. That's true. Um, even though monetize this didn't happen last night, and obviously tonight I got I can't be on long because I have Sunday night and whatever else. Um, I've got work, and I'm going to go relax in a bit and just kind of chill out before the work week begins again. Um, I do want to take a minute to um, talk about something really pathetic, and that's this. You know, Japan's making uh, bicycles that fly now. They're built on the same platform as a drone with a bicycle in the middle of it. Oh, my God. 40 gosh. minutes of Jesus. Time. I'm not killing you, man. Oh, no. That, I'd love to get the first guy in my neighborhood to get a flying bicycle. <laughs> that would be cool. Well, thank you, Sam. And get Dude, he's bigger than Santa by, like, two or three people. Wow. Do a uh, paintball in the air. Paintball for that. It would be fun. Thank you. What a great Christmas. This is disgusting. You look so sharp. Thank you. Yeah, you look great. Tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Um, it's hard to say what I want for Christmas, really. Maybe nine hundred dollars. If only you cared that much about your mass body index. Nine hundred dollars. You raised a piece of shit. Nine hundred dollars for Christmas. I want. Uh, let me get uh, nine hundred dollars for Christmas. Is what I'd like. Uh, and uh, fifteen hundred. I uh, I should. You know what I should do is I should ask Santa for my tax money. I should be like, Hey Santa, could you give me seventy grand for Christmas? You know, Tommy's asking for nine hundred. I would have shot for the moon. I would have shot for the IRS fee. Chief Wahoo becoming a member again. Chief Wahoo, thank you, man. Well, obviously I lost out on a lot of money. Someone, some troll in the chat said Joe's a lazy idiot who didn't even stream last night. Well, I mean, listen, bro, I needed, you know, I lost a lot of money. Well, not a lot, but I mean, I don't know what, I, who knows what the show would have done last night, but I know that I lost out. So it's not good when you don't make it to work. I fucking passed out on my floor, dude. Sucks. Who asked, who asked Santa for $900? Like what a weirdly, What? Like, what a weird amount of money, you know, to be asking for. You know, I'll take $900. You know, it's a weird, very specific amount of money. You know, this poor fucking Santa who has to have this fucking fat fucking retard person sit on his knee. It looks like it's about ready to buckle. This guy looks fucking skinny. This Santa. This is wrong. And by the way, what kind of chair for Santa is that? This is a grown man. Ugh. And there's some woman who's like, tell him about what you want. Very specific amount. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Not to give me a segue. Segue? Yeah, maybe you should move this segue for Christmas. That's what you do. You just ask for that. Nobody should be dressed like Tommy is unless they work at a car sales. Like a used car salesman. You know? I'm wearing three hundred dollars worth of shit. No, no. Very strange. But uh, someone sent me that, and uh, okay. I mean, hey, man. You know what I'd like for Christmas? Gluttony. That's what I'd like for Christmas. How about about how about some more gluttony for Christmas? That's what I'd like. You know, you could have wished for children to be uh, not sick anymore. You know. World peace could have been one thing, you know. Could have wished to lose some weight. You know, could have wished for that. Could have wished for, uh, you know, your mom. Who knows? Whatever. But nope. Hey, uh, Santa, I'll take uh, $900, Santa. I'd like. Can I get $900? Can I get $6,900, Santa? And then a dick, And then a dick in my ass? Santa, how do I get $900 and a dick in my ass? 
you don't know what I'm going to say on this stream tonight, but, you know, it's going to be, uh, you know, we're going to get to it. And it sucks, man. I'm sorry to everybody last night, man. Like I said, I, I passed out on my floor. I had a my, I had a some kind of optical migraine headache that was nuts, you know, um, and I, I just fell on the floor. And then after I, when I woke up, I got up and I went and slept on the couch in the other room. Man, it went to hell. You know what I mean? It went to hell, bro. Let me tell you. It's, uh, but I, you know, I'd say Bills. How about the Packers? They beat the Bears. Not good, Bears. Not good. Bad mistake, Bears. The Bears. The Bears got butt fucked. The Bears got butt pumped, bro. The Jets lost. I mean, as expected, they suck. Minnesota's like, we won. Yeah. Yeah, you beat the Patriots by like seven. And then you beat the Jets by about le almost the same. I mean, you know, come on, man. You should you should be raping the, the Patriots and Jets, you know, but you're not. So the Vikings, you know, even though I picked them to go to the Super Bowl, it's going to be a tough time. Do a little basketball dance off the concrete. You know? I mean, I'm just so sick of you little meth head devil worshippers. Uh oh Picharo, here he comes again. I'll be honest. I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. Uh-oh. Be quiet, T-Man, in the chat. You're lucky I can't chat in there because I am somehow bent in the chat. I what? bet the team you support sucks. Your logo has the letter H, which I know you're from Houston. You are probably at Texans fan lol. Are you you're banned in the chat, Pichar? Tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Uh, um, it's hard to say what I want for Christmas. Um, it's hard to say what I want for Christmas time. Oh, let me uh, put this out on Patreon. I'm sorry. I haven't even... Let me put this out on Patreon. I'm not even... Didn't put out the alert that I'm live. My bad, everybody. Hey, thanks to everybody who signed back up on Patreon. We're back to 150 patrons already. We're just 10 or 10 or 13 shy of last month so far, so we'll get there, hopefully. Um, uh, yeah, I was in rough shape last night. I don't feel the greatest right now, but it's like I... Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe I, maybe my wisdom teeth are coming in, and they're, like, pushing in the side of my jaw and causing all kinds of havoc. I, I don't know. Maybe I have a virally spread sepsis infection that I don't know about. You know, I, I, I don't know what's going on with me. So, go, go, superhero, became a dollar patron. Thank you. Don Edward became a $10 VIP. Don Edward, thank you. And Skittles is back as a $25 freaking producer. Skittles, thank you so much for doing that, man. He went to $25 producer. Boom. So there you go. That's my best uh, my best explanation of last night, I guess. You know, I was asleep. I didn't have any sleep. Everybody knew that. I had two to three hours of sleep. So after two to three hours of sleep and then working all day and then coming home at, uh, what, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, yeah, I just passed out on my floor with fucking a crazy migraine, dude. My, like, I was seeing shit in my eyes and it was all fucked up. Like, it was crazy. So, obviously, that sucks because I was looking forward to monetize this. I know Dave had planned. He had all kinds of shit planned. Um, you know, uh, was ready to go. All that sort of shit. I felt great, too, yeah. I felt good. I had uh, talked to Dave right, Dave right before I was going to go live for Monetize This. I had talked to him, and I played it on the show the other night. Actually, no, wait a minute. That was the other night. That was the other night. I didn't. I wasn't on Dave's show last night. Goon, you fake troll. I, w I, was on, um, I wasn't on anybody's show last night. I was on Dave's show two nights ago. We played the clip of me on the show. We, play we literally played the clip on Friday Night Throwdown on the show. In fact, we started Friday Night Throwdown with that clip. So no, that wasn't yesterday. That was I was not on any show. I was that was the day before. That was Friday night. Um that was Friday night, right? Wasn't it? Um Yeah, it was December 2nd. Yeah, Friday night. Friday night I was I was with Dave for like for like 5 minutes. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, here it is. Ah. 
Oh yeah, this is it. This is from Friday. Yeah, this is from Friday night. Not yesterday. I didn't go on this show yesterday. This is from two nights ago. Goon, you gotta get your facts straight, bro. If you're gonna like say things, you gotta get things right, man. This was Friday night. Look, Friday night, buddy. You gotta get it right. I played it on the show. I was only on I I talked to Dave for like five minutes. You know what? Kanye's my spirit uh, animal. Tony, I'm coming I'm, for your wife, I'm, Tony. I'm, uh, see like that was Friday night. Uh she fucking That's funny. For some people too. And you know what? Kanye's my spirit uh, animal. Tony, see, that was Friday night I was on there. Yeah, that was Friday night. Not last night. Making me I thought I was crazy for a second. Um not nice try though. Um Yeah. That was pretty good though. I have a sip. Mm. Tastes good, brother. Tastes good. It tastes good. Ooh, yeah. Do you like it like that? Ooh, you're so butt hurt. Can't believe you are. Um, Cowgirls? Yo. This motherfucker asked for a segue, Derek Hans. Like, I mean, that's that's a little bizarre, bro. You know, you should ask for a fucking Weight Watchers diet plan. That's what you should ask for. You know? Um, can I get a Weight Watchers diet plan? Look at Santa's crippled old ass, bro. He can't handle this. His leg, oh my god. Like, dude, a, a guy that weighs like 280 pounds is sitting on your little toothpick of a leg. This is this is this is fucking crazy. Uh, yo, this guy sits on my leg. I'm gonna just keep talking about how he needs to lose weight. You sit on my leg like that. I'm I'm gonna just keep bringing it up. Yeah, you should lose a lot of weight. Yeah, you should lose 20 pounds. Yeah, you should lose 80 pounds. Yeah, you should lose about 100 pounds, brother. You know what I mean? You should lose a lot of weight, bro. You know? Oh, man, that's... I mean, he looks gigantic, bro. What are you doing? Michael, welcome to the desk. Thank you very much, Taz. Hello, sir. Mr. Shivani. Hello. Man in the mask. <laughs> How are you today? Doing quite well, you sir. You little creme brulee, you. <laughs> I'd like to crack you and let you just melt in there. I would, honestly. Already. Oh. Yikes. We're rocking and rolling. Little up. creme brulee, you. I told you we're starting out hot, guys. <laughs> really oh. are. <laughs> well, here we go. Well, here we go. Remember this? Just speaking to Did you take us some testosterone? Testosterone, because your voice sounds a lot deeper than oh, you man, normally. Listen, mm -hmm. you know how emotional you are, so like you're very emotional and stuff like that, and you can hear it. So I don't want you to deny it here, because see, I'm listening to the stream right now with what you're saying, man. Should I raise and, like, my voice? Dude, like you are, you are a really emotional guy, you know. How so? <laughs> Tell me how. Well, like you just have like female traits, I believe. You know, like you can tell in your voice that like maybe like. You know, you, you often wanted to be more closer to your mother, yeah. but you weren't close enough to her, so you really had mostly your dad's influence. And so you, that's why these female kind of traits come out in you, you know? Is that I mean, what I you know gained for one year of fucking psychology before you dropped out? Yeah, but I mean, one, my yeah, my one year of psychology is better than almost anything that you've done in your entire <laughs> life at your age. So, well, you, you know what? To be qu quite honest, see, man, you've had some critical words about Joe Cronin as well, and uh, it's funny though because you're willing to shit on me for actually shitting on Joe Cronin, but you don't shit on yourself for shitting on Joe Cronin. I find that a little well, hypocritical there. Well, because see, I love myself, and you don't love yourself, Dave. That's why uh, you per you portray this stuff out there and everybody else. Because everything you hate about yourself is so obvious, and that's why you're so emotional and stuff. And that's why <laughs> I go around like behind the scenes, man. And I message everybody trying to get on people's good sides and find out the inner workings of them and <laughs> tell them about how this stuff is toxic. But meanwhile, I love it all. That's why I get involved with all this trolling. Yo, Dan and stuff. Kennedy, but how you feeling, thing, bro? It's really you, just like exposing all your emotionalness and stuff like that. And, <laughs> man, yeah, I, you yeah. know, I, I think your family, you know, your family life has done this to you. And I think if you just start apologizing to people on the shows <laughs> and stuff, <laughs> guys, if you knew who that guy was, you'd think that was funny because it sounds like him, and it's funny. Um, that's pretty funny. Take it away, Dave. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Now, that is the laugh of an insane cunt. I mean, I will say that. That is the laugh of a person who's got special needs and the ability to... uh, And problems with their parents, let's be honest. That laugh is from a person with parent problems. I mean, let's just... Let's say it like it is. You know what I mean? Let's keep it real. Uh, Yes, I'm alive. A lot of people asked me if I was okay. Um... Yes, I passed out. Oh, hey, listen, guys, I just want to say also thank you, I mean, I guess, for everybody who cared. You know what I mean? To really, Like, I feel bad. Like, I didn't. Obviously, I passed out. And I had uh, just so many messages from so many people. I don't think I got back to everybody. I keep seeing more messages and email. I've got emails from people. Are you okay? Like, as if I'm going to answer on email, like, if I'm passed out. But, you know, people, some people called Leah. They know they know who they are. Like people tried to contact Leah to see if I was all right, which is, I mean, that's really nice. I mean, when you think about it, you know what I mean. Like, that's a pretty nice thing to do. You know what I mean? Because, like, you don't know. Like, did Joe fall outside and nobody knows that he's outside, dead or hurt? Did he get in a car? You know, the people. People were like, "Where it? Like, what's going on? Like, I'm usually saying something or doing something." So, so I appreciate uh, everybody. You know, everything was fine. I don't think I got back to everybody because there was so many messages. I just I'm seeing them now, like certain messages and stuff from people that I didn't, I didn't see. Um, what is this? Why is there a button over this? I don't know what that is. Um, so thank you. If I missed your message, I'm sure I'll see it eventually. I haven't really combed through everything yet. Um, I'm alive. Uh, it was, it was, I had such a migraine that I just went laid on the floor for a second because I, my head hurt. I thought something was wrong actually. And then I ended up falling asleep on the, on the floor. And then I, I didn't wake up until forever later. Um, it's weird. Dan Kennedy, I see you, man. I'll be over there in a minute. I think. Uh, yeah, so it was weird. Sucks. I missed, you know, I wanted to do a long, big monetize this. Honestly, quite honestly, if we did the show last night, I would have been out of it. Like, I wouldn't have done much. Like, the better show would have been Friday. Because Friday night, I was hyped up. I was ready to go. And I stayed up later than I should have. You know, I ended up, I ended up um, getting two hours of sleep. And that's why I probably passed out and had a migraine and all these things. But even now, I still have it. Like, a pain all over my face and my eyes and around my head and stuff. But last night it was unbearable. Like so, it, so you know, honestly, the show wouldn't even have been the greatest. I would have, I was actually would have been sitting here like, okay, yeah, we'll tell him to suck his dick. Like I would have just said, I would have said silly, messed up things while not really saying much. Because oh, it's all of it, man. My face and my head, bro. Extreme shaft. What's up? It's my whole face and head. It's my my eyes pushing into my head like I had an optical migraine I think so it was like my eyes my eyebrows hurt right now then all the way around and then into my jaw right here really hurts right here like my jaw really hurts but then into my neck down here but it's really the headache that made me like pass out last night so like yeah it was crazy it's like uh, I don't know what's wrong with me but it was bad F YouTube, where was my mo- notification? Yeah, YouTube doesn't like me, bro. They don't give you notifications anymore that I'm live. So. $900. Tommy asking Santa for $900. Enough to give me a segue. Segue? Yeah, maybe you should have a segue for Christmas. That's what you do. You just ask for that. Yeah. You know, Japan's making uh, bicycles that fly now. <laughs> So there you go, Tommy asking Santa for a segue for Christmas. I'll give you a segue. Um, but no, uh, and also let's not forget Kanye West's insane tirade. First it was on the Jews, which is horrific, right? But then Kanye West went even further when he attacked Chinese people. This is a very disturbing clip. I apologize for Kanye West's honestly deplorable behavior here this is this is honestly despicable and i'm but i'm gonna play it because it has to be you know people need to know what type of a person he is 
So here's Kanye West attacking Chinese people. This is insane. Unbelievably sick from Kanye West. Guys, I'll kill everybody who's yellow. I'll oh, kill everybody oh who's yellow. Yeah, th these are shocking comments. We're going to play a little bit more of what Kanye said the other day. Here's some more of it, guys. Listen, everybody out there, I'm sorry that Kanye sick. West said this stuff. Please, you know, don't judge. Apologize for him. Don't yeah. on his own I want to. Feet. I want to apologize for what he's about to say. But let's go ahead and play the clip anyway. We have to play it. Here you go. Even though that jacket is yeah. Hard. So here's the other thing, man. Like every 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 slanted eyed motherfucker in China, I like to eat their families alive and then put them on the cover of my next album called. Oh. Ye chinky, like that's what I like to do. I kill is... anybody. It smells funny, like those people. That's what I do. I kill. The... Well, I, I gotta say, man. Listen, I know a lot of Chinese people who are actually really good people. And the thing is, like, I don't really agree with what you just said. I mean, listen, make the album what you want, but I wouldn't do that to to human beings. You know, is that's all I'm saying. It, it's yeah, art. well. You can do, you can say that, Alex. But here, the, the thing is, these people are like under five foot eight. They should be stomped out and murdered. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, you know, I don't agree. But you should agree because here's the thing, man. They skin yellow. Like you, white, oh. I'm black. But they skin yellow. That's weird, man. It's like urine. Uh, but you know, yeah, I know. But this really, I just, I just gotta tell. I, I just don't know how you can say this. I just got to tell you, man, I, I want to cook them like they cook cats and dogs. Oh. I want to cook them. They think it's funny cook oh a dog, I cook them. All right. Uh, it's just like, but Kanye, I mean, we have a lot of Chinese Americans who are wonderful. Yeah, you say that. Yeah, I, mean, I do say that. I think they're wonderful people. And the thing is, like, I know a lot of them. And I... But yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know a lot of them that cook dogs. So fuck them. <laughs> and they can't drive worth the shit either. Kill oh, them. my God. Right, I'm out of here. I got to go. I got to go. Well, them dogs, man. That made that what? was too far, obviously, for Alex Jones. He got out of there in a hurry. I mean, man, one, first it's, you know, he's going after Jewish people. It's disgusting, anti-Semitic things. And then he goes after Chinese people, and that is... And he doesn't even ch change his clothes, which is also, you know, a sign of a psycho. You know, you don't... When you don't get changed, you know, something's up. Do you a know? little basketball dance off the concrete. Oh, Basharo here again. I, I'm just so sick of you little meth head devil worshippers. I'll be honest, I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. Hey, Joe, did you see USA men lose to the Netherlands? Saturday we got yes. England and France in the quarterfinals, which is going to be great. And I swear, man... You are going to make me become bullfrog and press charges on you for harassing me, Lowell. Yikes. Good Lord. Um, thank you, Bisharo, for the dollar. That's uh, Do a little basketball that's dance off the right. concrete. I mean, I'm just so sick of you little meth head well, devil worshippers. Here's uh, Bisharo again. I'll be honest. I'd like to take a big bite out of your Hey, Getty face. Lee. How you doing, man? Hit the like button. I feel bad for Santa's cock. That fat slob had to sit on him and probably hurt his cock. Instead of wa of wanting $900, why didn't you ask Santa for better content on YouTube? Because channel is dead. And probably ask Santa for Christmas to lose weight. Jesus. Man. Wow. Well, I mean, the USA got lit up by the Netherlands the other day, bro. We got a... Uh... We kind of got trounced the other day by the Netherlands. Uh, that didn't look very good. So, guys, I next week, I swear to God, next week, hopefully, Monetize This will be back <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. But uh, Friday nights will be Friday Night Throwdown, which will take place from about, I would say, about 8 or 9 p.m. until about 11 p.m. So Throwdown for a couple of hours, two to three hours on Friday nights. And then monetize this for a little bit longer, obviously. Maybe, hopefully, on Saturday nights. Are you actually going to throw down or tuck dick? No, we're going to throw down, which we did last week. We, well, did we tuck dick Friday? Well, again, throw down keeps moving around. It used to be on Thursdays well, and it was on Tuesdays. and then I just decided that Friday Night Live sounds just so generic. And throw down is such a good name, and it was a good show. And it was about two hours usually. So you know what? Friday Night Throwdown makes sense. Right? All right. I think it does. Good name. Same show. It's not going to be any different. Last couple weeks was good. Um, uh, the, sometimes Throwdown was really just like a circle jerk. Depends. Just... Depend. The first 
the first 40 throwdowns I loved almost not all of them but almost some of them are really good and I and, and throwdown was intended to be like me and one other person or me and two other people and that's it or just me like it was supposed to be that way and it really was for a while but oh, it was you and Jake basically and um yeah and, and then it was I, me and Troy I called one time it's like why is nobody throwing down let's fucking throw down and I certainly shook up shit well, the first yeah. episode too, I, I did that. I, I went after that down. that girl, and it was supposed to be a real throwdown, but it turned into uh, it turned into good when I, I think when Troy was on, when it was me and Troy, and <laughs> one, and then it was me, and then oh, me and you, we, we were good, you know. But it's Jesse was on there, Jake was yeah, on yeah, there. Yeah, it was good because it was two or three people. But yeah, anyway, what's up with you tonight, man? Oh, just a quick. Are you, are you telling me that uh, limited people on a call is a good thing? <gasps> it is. Well, well, see, monetize this when you go in seven hours. You can have chaotic amounts of people in and out and doing things or whatever. But throw down. I like that there was a one to two hour focus on, you know, two or three people. You want to see my cack? Um, as long as it doesn't get your channel struck, I guess I could uh, deal with. Uh, well, I'll send it to you on the side. You know. You know, I'll, I'll get the zoom option ready so that I can really zoom in to see it. But listen, it's six inches, not six millimeters. You know, good God. Well, that's right. Good You're God. not JD, so that's oh, right. Now, I'm not saying this, but according to his ex-girlfriend, who could be biased, but she did say it was four inches, maybe. And I questioned her even when she said that. And I know that's part of what brought the lawsuit that JD sent to me, or whatever the. Uh, Cease and desist he sent. That was really a big part of it. Where it wasn't even my fault. His ex girlfriend called my show and offered up his penis size. That has nothing to do with me. I didn't plan that. Didn't think that would happen. So um, random. It yeah, was but random. How many times have you been like I don't know dealing with friends or even just people that maybe you went to high school with and uh, they're like oh you got a small cock. It's like what you're gonna now send yeah. them a cease and desist. Yeah. Uh, grow the fuck up. Well, you send it to me. Mustache. Boy, why do you send it to I, me? Well, it's like I didn't say it. Well, I didn't do I'm, it. That's why I'm bringing it up because he basically he thought he couldn't control the narrative, and uh, even JB, you know, he's like, "What did JB do? He was just on your show laughing at your fucking joke." But well, that you know, warranted him getting uh, cease and desist. And that's really why there, J JD. That's why I say, man, like it don't matter what you say about, it. like, dude, somebody could be live and they could be like, "Joe's dick is two inches," and it's like I wouldn't like, what, what I? Why would I get mad at that? I would like. Okay, <laughs> like what the fuck? Nobody, be who cares? Like, you know, like you'd be like, that's two more inches than you got, or yeah. say something like, well, your mom still liked it. It's just like, yeah, Listen. you move on and you fucking laugh with it and shit. But then you've got those that actually, you know, because I guess it hits too close to home. You the know, bottom like line is who, who, he goes so far as to fucking, you know, issue a cease and desist. That to me tells me this hit too close to home. It might have, but she, you know. I just would have been like, bro, it's who cares? Like, it's not. I mean, you think it was really that small then? Why would you be with a guy with a small one like that? Or why would you well, go? That, yeah, that that you could easily use that, you know, yeah. sort of response to that. So, like, but the, the response that he had immediately to go to a cease and desist, I think that sort of tells all. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's weird. I would just go to, like, hey, man, why don't you meet me somewhere? If you want, or like not exactly, what? he is on a downward spiral in the sense that he keeps fucking doubling down on these comments on female wrestlers and stuff, and he's certainly not making him any inroads when it comes to the uh, the industry and stuff because he's pissing a lot of high profile women off. That is true, and listen, I don't agree with them either. But he, they're all liars, as far as I'm yeah, concerned. I think he's a liar. The women are liars. Females. Yeah, the women are emotional morons, and so is he. So they're kind of made for each other, to be honest. Exactly. But, you know, he, he is sort of feeding into that, and, you know, he, he only has himself to blame, really. Holy shit, Allison Tuckwob fucking drop-kicking us all. Oh, my God, Allison Tuckwob! Yo, and yo, Jane no Kennedy is here with his COVID. Yo, no Green Bay, they did it, Allison, today! The Packers! Yo. They beat Chicago! The Bears! Wow! The Bears. The Bears. Oh my goodness! It's Christmas time! By the way, the new 30. Uh, there is a new donation for Christmas. Bring back the donation. 
bones. Oh my god! It's in my mouth, I'll swallow all your juice. Logan. Fucking cunt. Pussy juice. Allison. That cunt is on the loose. That pussy juice. So, Whoa. Joe, uh, Colonel Tucker, tell me that like, you control the donuts. I but literally I, just saw it come in and I just no, mentioned no, it. No, but yeah, go no, stuff no, it up no, your ass there, no, stutters. Cunt, pussy juice, all I want in my mouth. Dave does, uh, uh, cut, uh he does spoil him, it's true. Down my throat so wet, broken cunts, pussy juice. It's probably in a show, okay? Cunt, it's all I want from you. I'm happy Argentina won. I smell it from here, I smell it from there. I eat through your underwear. I nibble it up, I gobble it all. I make your pussy and your panties fall. I want to withdraw your fucking cunt. Your diva me is on my front. I fucking lick it up. I can't believe Green Bay won, Allison. They did it. What's happening to my asshole? I will munch every part of you Cause I want that cunt and pumpkin juice Man, and my, it sounds like it says Jews there. $99 worth because that's the extended version. This and is the long version. Some people really want the Kenny Omega back. It's still here. Kenny Omega will play for $101 or more. Kenny Omega Bomb will play for you. Also, if you want to hear the... Uh, the oh, it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. Oh, it's a long one. <laughs> I think the, I think I put the wrong audio file in for the 99, 99 versus 100. And that's why this is going on. Look at a Wandy in the chat. Oh, Wandy! Well, only twenty-three dollars for uh, the pompous donation. Mastodon always uh, showing how he sucks About those cock. Packers, they kick the Bears, but Aaron Rodgers play like he wasn't hurt. What was up with you? When was that PPV supposed to play the one you were going off? I was trying to call you, but it seemed like it was always busy. Could not call you your office number. Yeah, my uh, Skype wasn't on, so I was probably going right to like some kind of voicemail thing, Allison. Um, yeah, I was and, trying to contact him last night too. I mean, yeah, we nobody could contact. I was out. I was passed out. I, I explained at the beginning of the show, but you might not have been here. You I had a mo- give me some way to contact you because I could wake you up if you know you. let me. No, I couldn't. Nobody could wake me up. Leah was shaking me. You needed the rest anyway, Joe. That's what it was. Three hours of sleep the night before, and I had a migraine, sinus migraine, and my eyeballs were bursting. I was asleep on the Oops. rug. Then I went, I, dude, Leah couldn't wait. Leah was shaking me. <laughs> I'm pretty Jeez. sure, like, I think a Wandy and Guz and somebody else were like, where's Joe? And I was like, I don't, I don't think they watch anymore. And she's like, they must because they're looking for you. And I'm like, oh. And yeah. uh, I was actually thinking of even trying to contact her, but like, you know, it's just like, will she even get this message and stuff? Like, I try to contact you. I try to contact Jesse. It's just like, how can we get this guy woken? No, I don't go woke. Never. You don't go woke. Never go woke. Never. So I was, no, I was out, bro. And listen, I need, someone was like, oh, you know, like I said, there was like a, even troll people like, oh, you, you know, you fucking, you know, you lazy, fuck, something like that. It's like, no, nah, dude, I want to be on the air. Trust me. I, I needed to make, you know, I needed I to make. Ma- I was hyped. I was yeah. fucking had coffee. I was like fucking. I knew you had a big group of shit to do. Like you had planned a bunch of stuff. I had some stuff planned. I was excited to do it, but I was not toward, right before going to do it. I wasn't as excited because I was so tired that I said, man, it's going to be hard to do. In my head, I was like, it's going to be very hard to top Friday night because we're not going to top Friday night because I have nowhere near that hype level, even though we I'm supposed to be able to go all night. Well, there was so many people look like I mean, you you talked about this, uh, I guess, in the chat, uh, but uh, the, the chat got reset for that video. And there was like if you were there. Uh, or side like people were like where's joe like let's wake joe up like like i'm ready to go like people were fucking hyped up for yesterday's show yeah i it's too bad and he, and if we had gone on like i said i would not have been in top form anyway but i was going to do it 
I didn't plan on not doing it. It just wouldn't have been that great because I don't think. I mean, maybe it would have been, but. I would have taken control and, you know, dominated the show just like everyone thinks that I do. So, you know, yeah. give them something to fucking bitch about, you know. It was just, I was just fucked, bro. It was, you know, I, uh, but yeah, it sucks. And so, like I said, I wouldn't want to miss it. Somebody said, you know, you just take the easy way. I was like, no way, bro. I needed to. I needed to make at least a couple hundred bucks. Well, ex that's what I was thinking is yeah. that if, if Joe was conscious, he would have been fucking working hard on that because, you know, yeah, yeah he's working on YouTube as a part time job and stuff. It's a thing. I guys. would have been I, fuck up. I would have attempted, you know, five Damn to seven is. hours of good content. And, uh, you know, it, whatever happens, happens when you're live. You don't know if you're going to make anything. You're just but I was going to try to put on an effort, you know, a five and to I seven hour. Was. I was. I had all these fucking stories to fucking make people laugh and fucking just, you know. And one of them was a story reality. about one of those funny stories was about Dan Kennedy being naked in the hospital. Dan, are you hey, recovering? How you doing, hey. COVID? COVID number two, right? This is your second time with COVID. Jeez. Yep. Are you Jeez. in the hospital? No, I'm not in the hospital. The fucking hospital wouldn't fucking take me. Cause you didn't well, need to be there. Fucking... It but just, why would you want to go to the hospital if you've got COVID? All you, it's just yeah, a food. Why would you, you stay home, I stay home I and you know. fucking get better. I, you drink I didn't know food? I had COVID at the first, when I first went. Eh, it's a uh, fake, uh, it's a false positive. He trying to spread his COVID around. Uh, they no false positive. <laughs> I can't take why shit. Is it, but why, why is you just taking it, it been, home? I've been, I've been looking door handles and such, and like COVID you know, uh, breathing people spit in, and I still don't have fucking COVID. What's happening? He's a COVID spreader. You're a super I'm not. spreader. I'm trying to get the COVID, and apparently, if I did, it was Nothing. asymptomatic. You don't want it. You, don't want you, it. Want, you want the COVID, dude? Come I, on. But Dave, Dave, I only caught it once, and that wasn't until two years in. You know, I, <laughs> yeah, I, and. And it, look what it did to me, dude. It, fu it did. It fucked me up. I call, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, yeah, but, I, I, I'm asymptomatic. I'm never going to catch COVID. And then I suddenly yeah, do. Yeah, but you, you took one jab. I took zero. And I have been exposed to I people who apparently did get fucking this shit. Well, there you go. I've not felt any symptoms, like nothing. Yeah, well, Dan took two, so that's why you ended up walking to the hospital. Statistically, statistically, with the amount of people that I've been around, um, I should have caught it by this point. I should have. Absolutely. Yeah. And I have. So you're lucky, sir. Allison, we're going to put you on the top of the list right now because that is a. That was a bomb. L I S P. Right How you doing uh, there, Meow Meow? Cooler, man. Cooler. I'm going to call you working, Mumbles, you know? man. You're so soft spoken. Oh, my. Oh, my. We'll nah, call you Mumbles. Volume. But now, nah, you know, been chilling, you know. Yeah. Uh, sneaker collecting. Got some more heat on the wall. I got some shit cancellated, so I don't know. But we still got some more shit on the way. Channel blowing up. I'm, I'm not like 180 some view or uh, subscribers. Oh, you sound yeah. like somebody from Boston. You sound like the sneaker addict. about their uh, their numbers. You, you sound like I sound like an Oreo. Why don't you? Oh, why don't you uh, get on Sneaker Attic? Uh, get on. His, I'm friends with him. You should go on his. Yeah, uh, Isn't he yeah, already? Dells. I Wait, with DJ oh, you're friends with him, so then it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, now nah, we cool. Yeah, we cool. Wait, sneaker addict's sneaker name addict. is DJ yeah. Dells. Yeah, he he's a DJ, uh, like an actual DJ. Like he uh, with mixtapes and stuff. What? Like Lil Wayne, Gucci Man. I thought that was the Tupac guy. Nah, yeah, look him up. He does. He's been doing stuff for a minute. Like, I didn't since know like that. Two thousand like nine. Man, so, I had yeah. no idea, and I'm friends with him. That's great. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. Fr I mean, we're not that friendly. I mean, we just always been like, "Hey, man, what, how, how you doing?" Like that sort of thing. Like, we're not like friend friends, but we're like, yeah. No, nah, he, nah, he definitely fuck with you though. Yeah, he comes in here. He does stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, certain, I go into his. A certain amphibian has messaged me telling me that to tell you that he's donated three dollars to you. Oh, okay. Kill yourself. One second. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thought I should mention to you because I'm not. I no, I see it. I see. I see the. I see the donos. You know, I got. I gotta fucking get the messages to stop. So. Oh my god. Why do? You, why does he? You know, he said that you were the biggest, baddest boogeyman ever. Yes. And he now has. he like you talk to him. Like it's like what? Where were you that I needed the when I needed you the most? And Dave Rose, bad man. I can't so even far. play the donation because I don't have my phone, and I need I need a tooth. I need the authenticator thing to open up my other donation board, and I don't have it because my son has my phone upstairs somewhere. 
So well, Bullfrog, it may never play, buddy. <laughs> Take your phone back from him. Wait a minute. Wait. Let's see. Why well, do I have to go and get? Oh. I have to get up and. Well, why they have your phone in your first in the first place? I mean, give them a, an abacus or something. Um, Tell them have fun with that. Yeah, he's. I don't even see the money. I don't. I, I don't know. I'll figure it out in a few minutes, Bullfrog. Why don't you use Streamlabs? It's, it's pinned to the top of the stream. Can you do that, Bullfrog? Uh, by the way, I thought you said you were done. You messaged me like a week ago and said, leave me alone or something. Then you well, asked me. Told, yeah, like a month ago. People, he's told many people about that. And, yeah. Uh, he don't know what he's doing. He's coming back and doesn't, you know. No. That's just sad. Well, yeah, and, what's but, up with this you know, football, though? He recognizes this, though, that, you know, it does pop up on shows that people attack him, which is unfortunate and stupid and reflects on these idiots. But uh, he sort of relegated himself to that and yet wants to be back on shows. It's one or the other, Bullfrog. Either you, you, you go all in and accept whatever fucking bullshit these idiots try to fucking push on you. Or you just don't stay involved and you certainly don't fucking harass Joe, me, Ken, or anybody else with constantly like, I want to be on your show. Like, why don't you just let me on? It's just like, no, dude, you got to decide. Either you're down with it, down with the bullshit, or you're not. All right, you, the yeah. thing. you say the K word again, you're gonna be out of here though, I'll tell you that. Uh no, I'm just kidding. Um Awandi <laughs> Awandi says uh candelated uh in the right. chat. I don't even know what that means. Can you tell me what that means? Dave, what is can Awandi can means like killer of infidels, I believe, in Arabic. Wait, right? no, no, no candelated. Oh I meant to say cancellation, but I said cancellated. Oh, up, but but, but then he wrote candelated, so that's not even that word. Like <laughs> I still, yeah, I, I, I do like cancellated. That sounds cancellated. Actually, no, I got what you I meant. I am you a were... robot. You are cancellated. No, I got what you said. Cancellated. I actually thought it was kind of cool. I was like, oh, I never heard it said like that before. But I knew you meant cancellations. You had some good shoes on the way canceled. I got that. Yeah, See, but I the word it. sounds proper, doesn't it? Cancellated. It, no, it. Well, it sounds like a robot would say because it can't compute uh, English properly. But uh, we'll canceled. accept that black robot. You know what? It's yes. like it's almost like ca getting canceled, but instead of you know just getting like you know deleted from social media and stuff like that, you're actually murdered from like the universe for pissing you know yeah. for saying the wrong thing. Cancelated. Terminated. Yes. You've, Terminated. you've been cancelated. You're going you've to be cancelated. <laughs> yeah, see, it sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, <laughs> I like it. I like you've it. You've been cancelated. Uh, Come out of here and get cancellated. Come get your cancellation on. What do you think of it's Tommy? Been cancellated. What do you think of Big Fat Tommy on Santa? You think I'm that sorry, was how old is he again? Oh. He's uh, uh well, cool. what mentally or 20, physically? Twenty-eight. Oh. Physically. <laughs> physically, he's thirty something, isn't he? No, he didn't he just turn thirty or something. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight, thirty. I don't know. One oh, of those. My. I thought he was, oh, like, 30-something, like, he, I, I, four I, years ago. Let's just say he's just way too old to be fucking trying to that's sit on I, that, that was my point exactly, uh, More he's importantly, old, that, right? isn't that a, considered a war crime? It's fucking hurting an old man by fucking breaking his knee with your obese stature? Um, hey, Santa. Money. Oh. Autism or not. That Money. Oh. Oh. Money. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm yeah, allowed that, to say that. that, that that's just it, back, like he's hurting that line, old man. Why line. can't he just? Why can't he kneel next to him? Why can't he just like stand? up You know, well, I don't know about stand up, but hobble up uh, next to the guy and uh, and not do that. Like, why does he have to be on his knee? Look at this. Look at how much. Look how cool you look now, meow meow. Purple rain, purple rain. Oh. Look, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I see oh. you now in the. Purple rain. Those are like this the lights I used to have on my old show in my old room when I had the lights behind me and I used to love changing the colors. Yeah. And the door behind you. Joints. I, I don't forget the door ever. Oh the, yeah, that was the other great side. Door. I wonder you know do you know what I should do is go to the old place and knock on the door and ask the like be like, Hey, you know, I used to live here and I did all this stuff and blah blah and then be like, could I, uh, could I come in and like, <laughs> probably I'm call gonna the take police. A tour of my house. <laughs> she, the lady who's there is like, like the minister of a school somewhere or some weird thing like that. Big type uh -oh. of, yeah, I don't know. Very. I, I hope they're doing yeah, well. On, a lady minister? A yeah, it's, it's not. You, she, she, no, is she a lesbian as well? No, like, it's not that. It's like the what do you call it? Like the, not the, the dean. Yeah, oh, like, like the dean of a college Catholic. or something in Boston. Oh, okay. 
She, okay, we seriously. all know that women are not allowed to be uh, head of the church. But it's not uh, that. It's like, it's even, I don't even know the title. I have to ask my mother. My mother met her. She's a very Lee nice Curtis. lady. She, her she's son. She's uh, leader, I guess, maybe. Her son kind of looks like Meow Meow a bit. To be honest. Jimmy's oh, black. She's, oh, yeah, they're black. Yeah, black. They're oh. black. She's, got, she's got big sideburns? No. <laughs> they're only. <laughs> they might be one of the only black families in that area, though, because there's not a lot that moved there. But she yeah, did. Say, they're rich as shit, probably, or has good money. Cause she just. Oh. But, but that very, white man money, when, money. When when she moved in, though, I think her son is like eleven or something, though, or something. And that's that's actually I was a little bit younger, but it was similar when me and my mom moved in, because me and my mom moved in, and so oh, her. So and her there's son moved no father in. in the picture. Ah, uh, no, I uh, don't believe so, Dave. Um, are you surprised about that? Or? Uh, no, oh, but, uh, you know, I was hoping for the best. Oh, shit bomb. Oh, I didn't have father either. Hey, Joe, shit did you read that article about Cowboys owner Jerry Jones and a picture of him dot being on the steps of a school preventing black kids from from going to class in the early 60s? He said oh. he was curious. He said he was Ooh. curious? What Ooh. else was he curious about? Well, wow. listen, I don't even need to know what you just said. If that's true about him, I don't even need to know that. I already think I already think he sucks. I hate Jerry Jones. Like I don't like him. He seems like a scumbag. So he if had a bad influence. Yeah, so if if Jerry Jones really did do that, I already know he's a scumbag. But also, dude, you know what? That's pe hilarious. Pe 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 Dude, pe but people can change though. You know what I'm saying? Like he really might have been a piece of shit back then. But he might have, a few years later, or years later, who knows how long later, he might have realized, like, and I'm not talking about from the standpoint of a PR person or, like, trying to be good because the society's changed. He may have changed. He may be like, wow, what I did back then was disgusting. And, like, he might be a different person. He really might be. I know lots of different people who are different ways. There was people, I know people who didn't, who were, were kind of racist to people. And, and then years later they were like, yeah, that was fucked up. I was wrong. And I know, I even know black guys who have said like, I used to hate white people. Now I don't, you know, they, everybody mm -hmm. changes, dude. People change. They realize like, oh, not every white person's this way. I thought they were, or, oh, not every black, you know, like I was ignorant. I was right. whatever. Yeah. So like, I'm not saying Jerry Jones Prejudice. is a, People are prejudiced. Like people are weird. You know. I yeah, know but you're right, and 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 a lot of people ignore that. Is that yeah? You can change your opinion. Like why can't you? Right. I mean, or, you can't learn. Or, or you, you can't can. Learn, or are we all nice. stuck in our own ways? You're just operating on what you know. And if Jerry Jones was raised fairly racist or whatever, and then he grew up a certain way, it might take him a while to realize. Wait a minute. Like that was this is fucked up. What I'm doing. Like or I was wrong. You know, it takes a while for that change to happen. It's like the Bruins player. The Bruins picked up a guy. They just released him a little while ago. They picked him up, and when he was a kid, now he's a kid. When he was like in, uh, I think it was when he was like sixth grade or something. He used to bully a black special needs child. Oh, he, dude, he bullied him and said racist you know things to him. I don't know if you know about this. He, fu it was <laughs> fucked. And then the kid got. He literally got kicked out of college. Because the college found out about the bullying from sixth grade or something. And the kid did fucked up shit. Like, he would, like, I don't even know all the things he did. He'd, like, burn the kid. He would, cut like, cut him, hit him with things. He would do stuff. He would say, like, dude, just the worst shit to this kid he bullied, apparently. And they, the, the parents, like, he went to court or something. And anyway, he, he became a hockey player. And... The team, I don't know, teams were, like, staying away from him because of this. Even though, like, you know, now he's, like, 21 years old and this happened when he was, you know, whatever, 10 or something or 11. He, or he might he might have been 12 or 13, actually, and the special needs kid was, like, 7 or 8 or something. And, oh, dude, it's fucked up. But, like, so anyway, he claims he's different now and stuff. And the team's, like, like so the Bruins hired him. And the people around here started being like, dude, why are we bringing this fucking person onto the Bruins? Like, fuck this guy. And and people were like, well, no, this happened when he was younger. You know, this a long, long time ago. It's not, you know, whatever. But people were like, no, fuck that. This is too fucking crazy. Like, fuck this guy. So people didn't want him on the team even from that. And we got rid of him. They just got rid of him like a little while. Like, it was like a couple months ago. So, you know, I don't know, man, how far back you go, but I don't know. He's going to hell. Straight the hell. That guy, I mean, the you know, that's what a lot of people are saying. It was like, listen, you don't just, st you know, 
act like this and change or whatever. Like, this is a fucking crazy um, amount of shit that this kid was doing to this disabled kid. I, you know, I don't know. It's fucked um, up. Uh, I mean, that's going to happen. Like, that's, yeah. Yeah. It's always going to happen. Every generation, it always happens. 80s, 90s, 2000s, now. Kids so, are just bad as shit. The player bullied <laughs> black classmate with developmental disabilities, the Bruins. But, dude, I bet you a lot of the players could bully a lot of different people. And I don't know if it was racially motivated. I don't know what the proof is of that. The articles say that, but I don't know what the proof of that was if he just did it because the kid was disabled yeah, and he was probably not they want to decise it up and be like oh it, let's throw some racial shit in there it could be but it, it could be both I, I i don't know but and it happens it happens to people all the time like but it's like often dude it doesn't even matter like who it was that you would do that to anyone is sick like bro it's but he was a kid but i mean joe i mean oh, almost man. every athlete on like the football teams the hockey team the basketball team at least from my experience, it's been kind of a jerk. So you know. Yeah, and I mean, there's difference of being it's kind that, of a jerk, that, and I like... mean, I mean that's just how the sports athletes are a lot of the time. Yeah, but I don't. I think this was fairly extreme. Like this was like, um, like bad. Like I'm trying to read um, Mitchell. It's Mitchell Miller. So let me look him up. Mitchell Miller. Um, let me see. He's a white man. Or black man. He's, a, no, he's a white guy. He's, a, he's supposedly uh, bullied. Um, bullying victim says Mitch Mitchell Miller uh, reached out to him before signing. Now rescinded NHL contract. So this guy has no career now, though. He like don't have a hockey career. You know, he could be probably so, be a rich person, and uh, that ain't gonna happen. So the guy tried to apologize to the kid. It's right before right. he ever got even signed, he tried to. Okay, so here it is. I got it right here. Mitchell Miller, since the first grade, he bullied him since first grade. He outlined years of bullying by Mitchell during those years, including the direct use of slurs and other actions towards him. Um. He would punch me in the head. This happened the whole time in school. Um, this is a huge thing. The guy released a statement about it. Um, I am Isaiah. Uh, I would like to make a statement. Blah, blah, blah. I was called brownie, the N-word. Kids said my black mom and dad didn't love me. I mean, uh, I mean, this happened. I, I was told this stuff, but not every day. This happened my whole time in school. When I was in junior high, I would spit in my face, call me the N-word. I stopped telling because they called me a snitch. I'd get Neither. made fun of. I'd say I was his N-word to sit at his table. And he He's made me Neither. clean the whole table. That's two. He uh, <laughs> he threw food in my face. I was called the N-word every day. The office would tell me to stay away from him because he wasn't my friend. Once he got expelled from school... His friends started bullying me, so he got and that. This, that kid, you know, but this guy had mental issues. This guy was like mentally delayed. Yeah, the guy was bullied. Yeah, and wow. and they expelled. Big man to fucking make fun of uh, somebody who's got you know mental issues. Big man. Yeah, it's too much, man. We don't know anybody like that know. who sit on Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, he's definitely going to hell. That's, uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, it just goes on, like, yeah, making him pick up his food, you know, all kinds of stuff. Now, my only thing here is I've seen people bully a lot of people like this before, so this isn't anything new to me. And and, and honestly, to be honest, whatever's wrong, whatever you are that's different, they're going to pick on. So if you had a lot of freckles, they would have called him, you know, freckle face retard. If, 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 if he had freckle red boy. hair, if he had red hair, they would have made fun of him for having red hair. You know, he's black, so they, they obviously could say a lot of things. If he was white, you know, black bullies would have said white things. You know, it's just what bullies do. They pick apart whatever. So I'm just saying there's a lot of people that have been bullied like this without the racial part. But for some reason, the racial thing tips the scale. But honestly, you can't, no matter who you do this to, it's equally terrible. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. But so kind of weird. Do a little basketball dance Fucking off the concrete. Up. <laughs> and I mean, and he got expelled so from school. And now he that. can't even yeah, be on a hockey sure. team. Wow. I'll be honest. Don't do bad things, even when you're middle school guys. You'll be fucked. Don't do it. Don't hurt people. Santa Claus should give Tommy for Christmas instead of nine hundred dollars.
shaver for his beard and mustache because he looks ridiculous, how to make better YouTube content, and get a fitness coach, oh. and get sued by DC oh. for being a fake fat joker. Yikes. Oh. Good oh. Christ. Um, well. You raised a piece of shit. Mr. Joshua David becoming a member again. Joshua, thank you, man, for being back. How are you doing? I'm doing better today, man. But uh, don't got much time left. I got to run soon, so I only got a few more left. But our friend Smits is here. What's up, Smits? Uh, hey, Joe. You need... What's up, Joe? What's up, boys? What's going hello, on? Hello, hello, oh. governor. <laughs> That's the wrong hello, country, governor. Dave. Wrong hello, country, governor. Dave. How are you? Pip, pip, cheerio. I'm not actually. I'm not actually British. I'm Australian. It's Australian, you should be Dave. Good day, mate. Good day. Yeah, well, you, 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 you should be. You should be saying, "I bow to you." Superior Argentine <laughs> stock. No, no. You guys have already used your piss poor Aussie accent gimmicks last time I jumped on the yeah. chat. So. Get over it. Get oh, we gotta get over it. Gold, gold save the king. Gold get over it already. Nah, like. I did it today, man. I'm, 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 these I'm are the last Thailand, ones to yeah, say God save Wait the king. Wait a second. Oh, no, it's in Australia. It's in not Australia, it's uh what's it what's next Australia that I'm I'm thinking New, of. Zealand. New, Zealand. New Zealand with that, with that New, ugly fucking no. crypt keeper cunt. Yes, well, New, that's sweet. That's sweet as. That's a sweet as, bro. That's what they say over there. Sweet as. Good God. Yeah. Now I, I live in Thailand, man. I, you know, over here they nice. just legalized cannabis and um, really? oh. and they're, they're importing the American cannabis. I don't know what oh. the the fucking scientists or what's happening in the cannabis labs over there in America, but this not the same <laughs> way. That, that we grew up with. No, bro, that's no, the stuff that no. makes me fucking cry and have an anxiety attack now. I don't know what's in the <laughs> shit. With the, I don't it's know. That agent, it's that Agent Orange that fell during the Vietnam War that no, makes man. that shit fucking crazy. No. Yeah, I made a, I, I'm in a crazy part of Thailand, right? Last night I was sharing a, a spliff with this, uh, he's about 55 years old, Japanese cosplayer. He, his whole life is a gimmick as a, as a schoolgirl. I think he's like mentally <laughs> ill. Oh. Wow. Was, it's it's like, almost I was just about to say, you, you've what? met a lot of these ladyboys. Oh. It's almost like you're in America. Oh, oh. Like, it's the and same thing. Ladyboys are as Ladyboys everywhere. I'm desensitized ladyboys. to them. But this yeah. guy was a bit different. He wasn't a ladyboy. He like San Francisco. No, he, so was, so wait a minute. Was he a normal he... old man? But his his gimmick is a is a is a Japanese schoolgirl, and he got so high, man. He was he was a little <laughs> bit drunk, and he he's smoking oh. some of this good weed, man. Oh my oh, god, dude! God, dude yeah. Please get a picture of him next time. I got him. I got his business card. Fuck! I, I got. Oh, he's got a YouTube card. channel and shit, wow. and, and Instagram. <laughs> really? Holy what? Wait, can we find God. him? Like I'll, at some point, we gotta I'll find it. In the Discord chat, Joe. This shit's yes. fucked up. I, I gotta look up. I got this guy. Let's look. Him oh, up now. No. I'll have sex with him. Right we're, we're going down yeah, a, a very dangerous path, Joe. Be very oh. careful. Yeah, that's for real. And this Ray is Chan a, channel. Oh, Ray I found Chan him! Channel. I found him! I found him already! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh no! Now you speak English? Uh, okay, not great, but um, oh see, my god! Gimmick. Hey, oh. You know. Joe, you can shit on him all you like, but he's oh, committed to the gimmick. Right. No, I like I like oh. this guy already. I, I want to. Oh, no. This is amazing. I can see this guy probably wearing a skirt or something. Yeah. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I'm gonna pass out. Oh, I look so sexy, dude. Don't pass out again, Joe. <laughs> oh Dave. my god! Dave, say that again. What'd you say? Do I look as sexy, dude? <laughs> Man, this guy got so high. You know how sometimes people get high and then they get a bit paranoid and the yes. anxiety kicks mm -hmm. in and they kind of got to like go home or something. That that's yeah. what happened to him. <laughs> hey, no. Sounds like Thailand's got some good weed. But man, like it's this American time, man. shit, man. It's driving people no, hey, to psychosis. Hey, hey, hey. Watch I'm out! Watch out their eyes! Watch out their eyes! I don't think you've actually been to America to experience the joy that it is to have ninety-eight oh, percent cool. THC in fucking uh, weeds. So. You know, he's kind of yeah. got Spock ears. He looks like a wrestler. Yeah, I'm smoking with the black dude there. I saw he had a bong. That's why I jumped on, because I, I saw he had a bong. I'm gonna start smoking with him. Oh, yeah. He's wearing the hair berets. So Ooh. nobody on the flight the looked at him odd? Look at that. Well, I guess it's Japan. Nobody fucking thinks Yeah, nobody cares. That. They sell panties in a fucking, uh, you know, <laughs> what's it called? A vending machine. Look at my type of Japanese. Oh, shit. Yeah, Japanese, yeah, really... uh, 
Very weird. The Japanese are. A... They really like fetishize schoolgirls in Japan, and maybe this guy, something in his childhood didn't quite didn't quite go right. But yeah, he, anyway, no, he, he grew up watching it. And he wanted to be. You one. really think so? There. <laughs> No, I, I don't think there's any mental issues with this guy. It's perfectly <laughs> normal for a grown man to be dressing like a schoolgirl, right? Oh, oh yeah. Look Definitely. at this. Look at the food. I love it. Oh, yeah, the food's more interesting than him. But that's just not even. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of vlogging. Is that display. what it, he really just vlogs? Is that what it is? Uh, I didn't get to know him too well, man. I started <laughs> feeling a bit creepy myself just looking at his looking <laughs> at his page and. Oh. Well, that, that that is the stranger danger, which is uh, very yeah. normal when it, when you realize that you're you know being approached by somebody that might try to groom you. It's perfectly fine to try to get away. So, yeah, I, I actually think I'm in the fucking child grooming capital of the world. Uh -huh. You know, Ghislaine oh. Maxwell. She used to come here. She used to like she used to fucking send um uh like representatives to come here and like groom thai girls and yeah oh. it's a bit of a history where i am i mean like the las vegas of thailand it's called pataya it's it's oh, out of control God. yeah wow. you're absolutely correct on that oh. actually thailand is a place these the pods? And I would call them potentially poachers but these yeah the pods you right here? People that are sent there. what are these pods that i'm looking at is this where they keep yeah, the kids the hotel room, Joe. What is it? look at this nice is, kicks, man. is this where you rent the kids and you go into the little funnel Waterproof. Waterproof. yeah look at this Look at where, where, so where, 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 where <laughs> wait, so you flavor to the program tonight. This is a hotel where you sleep in a pod yeah. like you're in space. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the, Japan has a lot of those hotel. dude. This is like the fifth element. <laughs> this is what they want to yeah. 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 element style. They want to oh, yeah. convince you that this I'm is. I'm sorry, hotel. bro. Listen, as much as I kind of do like this in some way, I feel like this is claustrophobic. It is. Like I, I would, would oh my god, dude, that is kind of cool, but that's too, that's small, bro. That's claustrophobic. The way I do that and would be on, on an they have like no gym. sound protection. Yeah, that's scary. Allison Tuckwab, thanks for the hundred dollars. Look at that. Look at Thailand. Grab a yeah, good. No thanks. no thanks there. Underage girl. Oh, yeah. Insect people. In the future. Dude, all the big stuff on the street. They're way ahead of us. Oh, this, this guy. Man. Dump hole. Cool girl. Uh, now this looks like uh, the French Quarter kind of meets the French Quarter meets um, the like uh, what's the movie with uh, oh god you know uh, Harrison uh, Ford Big Trouble in Blade Runner Trouble in China yeah yeah, China. yeah big yes and it kind of looks you like know, I know it looks like Blade Runner meets uh, Mardi Gras a little bit too I don't know. actually yeah Blade Runner did have a lot of Asian influence in it so. That looks good. A couple Ooh, of dog yeah. pieces right Ford. there. Oh! Huh. I like him. Hey, well, what do you do with bad uh, bad dogs? You gotta you gotta make, do something. What's with, with the American guy behind him? You see that? Or he might not be American, but he looks like yeah. a white guy. <laughs> He's certainly smiling at this yeah. guy's. Look at this. Freakish. This guy's about to abduct him. <laughs> That's a weird <laughs> smile from that big nosed motherfucker behind him. Look and, at him. And we don't care what hole we uh, we fuck, but uh, you are my bitch. Now you know this guy. Now you can hang out with him tomorrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Warn him that I feel like I've brought a real like pedophilia element to today's chat, which wasn't yeah. my intention. That's okay. Well, come on, what? just be honest. What do you think? Look at him. Or look at uh, him. If you, if you ever saw him talking to uh, maybe your niece, would you not maybe uh, bring him into an alley and uh, remove him from existence? I mean, oh. uh, I, I, I live in a certain part of the world where I wouldn't recommend children to uh, to make holidays with their with their family. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Maybe Terrible. That's, that's why you're there. No, I'm just gonna. No, uh, so it's so hey, avoid, hey, avoid you, Thailand you know, if you have kids. How long hey, have you been I gotta, you should see the debauchery US sailors get up to in this part of the world. I'm gonna oh, snitch yeah. on your um services, man. Those boys are the worst of the worst. I, I, I know, I, I believe it. I saw what they did there. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to disparage people. Some people are great, but. What I saw the U.S. soldiers do t uh, to people in I uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, mm -hmm. no, but and this is the sailors. Mm -hmm. well, the, yeah, well, the sailors yeah, they the but sailors. yeah they they'll butt pump a, a tree yeah, midget. Well, that's oh. the point. They'll fuck anything. And here's the thing: I'm looking at it more at the statistical point <laughs> because that's what I always do. Yeah. Now, when I looked it up, 
these sailors, when they go offshore for oh, shore yeah. leave, yep. they'll get infected with just about everything available. Because right. they well, think and, uh, when mass, they go back to bro. fucking when they go back to ship, they got to be treated for that. And like all the statistical reports like, oh, well, and again, I, I follow the money. So, yeah. you know, you end up looking, OK, well, it costs like thirteen thousand dollars to treat one sailor. Because the motherfucker stuck his dick in everything he could. Yes. And, yeah, uh, that, that, and they yeah, fucking start right. shit. They fucking rape people. Well, this is on. They like, also even get. In Japan, they fucking but, dude, they also out. get vaccines that a lot of people don't even get because they know whatever. Uh, go ahead. Smitzner seems to know, though. He, you know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, man. Like, cause they, a lot of them hang out in this place called Boytown. And I know you Ooh. can figure out what goes on in Boytown. Oh, yeah. But when you see these sailors, they've usually got four guys drinking heavy or partying it up, but they've always got one sailor who's the chaperone. But I think they've got like a history of um, incidents mm. and little venereal disease as a result of oh. these uh, breaks Mon from service. Monkey pox. Oh, a lot of monkey pox going on. Well, it's glad. Um, it's good to know that this guy doesn't have any monkey pox and he's yeah. keeping his uh, pecker all wrapped up and uh, clean. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I know, man. Trust me. I mean, actually, Leah's brother was in the Navy. The gay one, if right? You, right. If you want to just oh. see what goes on here, you can just YouTube Patea and like Walking Street, and you got people taking their own like their own cameras, and it's a real eye opener. If if there was a total like cesspool of filth of the the capital of the world, it would have to be here. Um, you sound yeah. like an Australian Batman. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You're basically saying yeah. this place I... is dirty and filthy. I always wanted to join the Navy because I figured it would be the closest thing I would get to being on the Starship Enterprise. You know what I mean? Like, let's go. But it really would have been like the closest thing to being in a San Francisco debauchery clinic. So I don't know. I guess it would have been, <laughs> it would have been fun, though. You know? But now, yeah, Australia, man, is, it's got to be a lot different. I mean, what, so how long, are you going to go back to Australia or are you living there permanently now? Uh, I, I come and go. I come and go. So what are you here for? What do you wait a minute? So what are you there for? Vacation. Oh, I don't want to got disposable much. income. This is so. Oh, it's shit, Joe. You don't want you don't want me to incriminate myself live on the yeah. air, do you? He's bringing oh. the weed over to the Thai yeah. people. That's what he's doing. He's <laughs> he's bringing them the good nah, stuff. Nah, man. I'm just a digital. I'm just a digital nomad, Joe. I, I work online for oh, Australian there you go. company and. Yeah. Oh, oh I was going to say hacker. He's some kind of hacker that we don't, you no. know, we, okay, because we need you to hack somebody else. No, um, that's yeah. cool, though. That's good. You must be doing well, I mean, if you're doing that. So, uh, well, for all, the, for all the, um, the shit I brought up, I don't engage in any of it. I've got a normal life, you know. I've got a girlfriend and a uh, job like that. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I, I find order in the chaos because um, it's complete chaos here, but I love it. Yeah. No, the, I get it. The food. The street food must be great. I mean, I've seen videos and all that sort of shit, but you you know, obviously unless you're there, you don't experience it. But god damn it, like a buck fifty American can get you yeah. like fucking a four course meal or some shit. Well in Australia yeah, Can you imagine Australia? <laughs> Australia is super expensive, right? So it's gonna be cheap yeah. as shit yeah. there, right? Yep. Yeah. Australian, I think, well, is a bit more than American money. Like yes, because of the imports. The, to but import America. to Australia sucks. Everything costs them an extra like twenty percent to get it over there. Yeah, but the country's got money, Joe. They export export a lot, so yeah. import a lot, but export even more. Dividends. No, yeah, that's good. I love. I like it, man. I like the idea of it. I like Australia too. So I mean, really. Yeah. Fuck. You're never going to get Marmite into the North American, um, you know, market. I, I'm just going to have to tell you that. Okay. You're ve oh, sorry, Vegemite. Mar Marmite is British. Vegemite is Australian. My apologies. Okay. If you want some good content, man, just take a whole teaspoon and, and film yourself. Uh... Oh, no. How dare you even <laughs> say that? Oh, my God. That stuff. It's yeast. It's basically congealed yeast. Oh. You really yeast? are trying to fucking yeast poison infection. us. Dude. Actually, yes. Actually, it kind of does look like that discharge, to be quite that honest. That would be bad, whatever. Who knows what would happen to me if I did that? It would be... Uh, you like sandwich. Oh. You know, yeah. I see all the American imported food in the supermarket. It looks fucking radioactive. I don't yeah. know what what's is, going what on with your diet over there. Like? Dude, dude that's how you know what's good. You know, it's good. No, dude. Like over there. You're just, correct in, in one half, is that, yes, some of it is radioactive, but other parts is just, you know, pure Dave, garbage. you don't even live in America. 
but yeah, we no, get no. your products <laughs> up here, dude. We get your products no, up I here. No, I know, I know. No, you dude, our products are illegal in like fucking like thirty percent of our products you can't sell in like the UK. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in all of they Europe, got actually. Labels on them. <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude, we got to put all of these like the... warning labels. That's warning right. food. Yeah, uh, ingredients You're... come from America. That's what. Does, that's that's how, does it really say that? Like ingredients from America? Like, yeah, like <laughs> yeah, America. dude, I, I find... information because it's like trans. Anything with trans fat. America is. Let me put it this way. America has just stopped, not stopped, but America has just really started to try to get trans fat out of everything. So you'll see yeah. stuff in America. It says no trans fat, no tra because for years there's just it's fucking gluten saturated free. fat. It's gluten free. Yeah, gluten free, yeah. trans fat, no trans fat. Like, like, yeah, but sugar doesn't have any gluten, you dumb Yeah, that fuck. corn syrup's like okay. a crack pot for oh. you motherfuckers. Oh, dude, so that's the bad. So so high fructose <laughs> corn syrup is one of the worst things, and it's in everything. High fructose corn syrup. Don't want to drink it. Dude, high fructose corn syrup, I think if you eat, if you eat like stuff with high fructose corn syrup, it does about the same damage as like a raging night of drinking alcohol. Like so, if you eat high fructose corn syrup all week, things with it all week, it's like it's as in bad candy as bars. one drink it's in night. fucking cereals. It's in everything in America. Well, it's in so much stuff, dude. Like I, I'm telling you, because I'm changing my diet, right? Because of my fatty liver that I that they said, no, oh, you kind of got a fatty liver, and I'm like, what? And dude, the doctors don't even care. They're like, oh yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm like, what do you mean not a big deal? That's the thing that leads to cirrhosis. So, I, I've been trying not to eat anything with high fructose corn syrup in it. Pepsi has it too, by the way. And if you look at Pepsi yeah. in um, Pepsi in other countries doesn't have it. In certain other countries, doesn't what about have Mexico it. and the fact that their uh, Coke doesn't have any of this high fructose shit? I like, it their, has I like, sugar I like the Mexican cane. Coke. It's you know, amazing. Do you it's know amazing. why Mexico it's sugar cane? Because in Mexico, and listen, sugar's not great for you either, but it's the high fructose corn syrup. In Mexico, they actually have a health person. That like cares. It's not a political agenda. Who's no, in it? The problem they're, is they're in it with the foods. companies. Sugar is okay, limited, but when it gets processed highly, like high fructose, that's when it becomes toxic. So yeah, you can have a fucking uh, a muffin that was made with brown sugar. That's not a big deal, you know. But if you're eating a candy bar that has this fucking, or you know, using oil that has fr high fructose for uh, you know frying and shit. It all accumulates. No, we are we are eating the worst shit. Like you can't even, and the cancer rate in our country and the obesity and all the things that are up, and, dude. What's in this shit is unbelievable. It's it really is. And what now? What's the in Thailand? Is there like, out and outside like cleanliness of food and stuff? Are there places like yeah? You don't eat at that place. Like that place is. Yeah, I, well, my personal system is the cleanliness of the chef because it's all street food. And if the, 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 the chef appears to maintain a, a decent level of hygiene, their food's probably hygienic. But it's a gamble. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could see it because it could be a trash hole. You know, and Thai is really good when you get good Thai. But the, oh, yeah. the food, real, the, it's unbelievable. Time. It's not just the taste, but the access. Like, you can just walk out of your house and the streets will be littered with guys that, like, just cook on them with a motorbike and a sidecar or they're chopping up fresh tropical fruit or uh, making, like, a, some a noodle dish that's, like, a dollar, like like Dave said. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. What about a massage parlor? Oh, man, they're, they're dime a dozen, um, oh, yeah. you know, and... And you got you get a great massage as well. Like if you just want a real massage, not a naughty massage. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Totally oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Clip that naughty massage. So what was that? Hey, naughty what was that, that? That NFL player, and he kept getting hand jobs by massage ladies, and there was a big public <laughs> outcry. Well, that's just Isn't fucking that Thursday Jerry where Jones? I live. Well, you're talking about Robert. Are you, are you actually talking about my team's owner, Robert Kraft, who went to Florida? No, what was that black? I think it was a quarterback. Oh, yeah, no, I know that owner as well. He oh. was getting hand jobs by the massage well, ladies. I know that I know the I know the Patriots owner was Sean just busted Watson. for this. Oh, oh. Sean, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, it's different, but yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah. He sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, over there it's just that's what you do. Here it's like, oh my God, he's going to be canceled. It's like, what? Why? Yeah. The and, hell? And here Terrible. it's it's like those additional services are pretty much part of the package. Yeah. No, oh. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. So rabbit some more. Um, Optional extras, I, I would probably put it better. 
Yeah, put a fu- put a thumb in there. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you get to yeah, go can back. You remember that movie, The Hangover Two. Remember yeah. The Hangover Two? Yeah. 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 Yo, and that's in Vegas. You can do this stuff. No, the second one was in Bangkok. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, oh yeah, I only watched that one like a couple of times, once or twice. Mm. That's right, The Hangover at Bangkok. That's right. <laughs> wow, Jesus Christ, dude! I only watched it once or twice. I don't. I barely remember it. I really <laughs> remember the first one a lot better. Yes. What about the third one? I saw the third one once. Was the third one? It was weird. They like tried to be more serious. <laughs> Hey, where do you guys go if you want to get some warm uh, weather in the winter time? Florida. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so people like tons of people, especially in New England where I am and right, you know, New York, New England, in this area, it's like they'll basically be like, All right, it's uh, you know, October, September, they'll go down to their probably November. Around November they'll head down to their Florida home and they'll come back up here in April. So they'll leave for November, December, January, February, March, what April. In Canada, people what? Would, they're called snowbirds. They just end up going to Florida. Yep. They live uh, during the winter, and then they come back when it's warmer. Yep. That's, like so even in, even in Canada, they come down to Florida, and they go back to Canada. So the same thing. But, yeah, Florida is usually the go-to place for people, most people in my area of America. Arizona, Arizona is a big place for retirees and fucking mm-hmm. people that just want to get escape the cold. They want to escape the cold and then go down and be in a hurricane. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, enjoy your hurricane down there. And uh, I would go to – me and Leah were talking about where we would move if we were going to leave America or whatever, and Australia was probably top of the chart there. But we were like, yeah, we're not going to be able to deal with all the fucking, like, like you know, the spiders and all that shit. Like, we probably, All the animals that want to kill you. Yeah, like all the, the arachnids and just the crazy, Freedom like, fighters. animals. Dude, we would freak out over that because we don't really deal with a lot of that. You know, yeah, get shotgun, get snakes right. that come up their fucking toilet bowls and fucking just nest there. Get a shotgun <laughs> and a crossbow, you'd be out. You'd be right. No, not yeah. even, man. These things. Nah, dude. Man, the magpies, dude. The fucking magpies will eat your dick off. You ever seen yeah. one of those? Oh, oh. attack you. Oh. Fucking the plants will want to kill you. Man, those magpies is bringing up some childhood trauma. Joe, oh, really? Those magpies. Oh, See, if this guy's, if this guy's <laughs> saying this, then you know it's real. Oh, yeah, they'll pick you out of the sky, bro. They're huge. They're gross. They try yeah, to pick you up when you're like a kid. Yeah, right. Dude, Man, they just they just target kids, and yeah. they've got yeah. memories. And if they decide they don't like you, like you walk past them every day, they just they just from behind attack you go for the eyes right they're oh, ruthless man. oh man they're nasty <laughs> yeah dude i'm telling you they're like oh, fucking i'm trying to think of what they're like out here like like a pack turkeys. of yeah they're like turkeys, turkeys dude yeah but they can fly they're it's like it's a, like, they're, it's like a, a, they're like a raven with a memory that holds a grudge is what i would say <laughs> even and if human snatching grudge. even if you didn't do it even if you didn't like, you didn't do it. They just one human pissed them off, and they were like, "You know what? Fuck these people." Watch this thing. Watch this magpie almost get this guy on a bicycle. Look at this. It wasn't close. Nah, I think they might. Oh, that was. Oh. Oh. I was about to say. I think they've they've warmed to you. Oh. oh. That was. Oh. See, that thing's following that him. Was a hit. Was, they've warmed to me, but they haven't. Getting more and more aggressive. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. Yeah, meanwhile, this guy off camera walked oh. up to them and hit him with a stick. And they, they're like, all right. Those are pretty looking magpies. I've seen some ugly fucking magpies. Those actually look kind of nice. Yeah, we got, I got crows right now in my backyard. There's like five crows living in the tree behind me. And they're fucking awesome. Like, I mean, you know, they don't attack you. You know what? You know what? Though the closest thing I've seen with magpies is the, uh, what is it? The um, fuck, what is it? It's not the hawk. It might be the hawk. It's something. God damn it! Leah was here. She told me what it was. It came close once to the kid, to one of the kids. Like it, it, it was like looking, mm. and the dog got crazy, and then it didn't do anything. But it was thinking about swooping down, and they will pick up a kid. It was a, uh, I think it was a <laughs> pick up cats too. Was it a hawk? Birds of prey. Yeah, it was a hawk, I think. But dude, it's still a ma- oh. it was bigger than might have been bigger than a magpie, but not as nasty as one. Oh. Sounds like a super hawk then. Birds go. Oh man. 
I forget which one it is. What the fuck bird is it? It wasn't a bird. I swear it wasn't a hawk. Talking about a vulture? No, but I don't know. It was a big bird. It was fucking huge. Turkey buzzard? They try to, they'll pick up dogs too. Like there's, I don't know, porn world cup. I like that show. uh, You know that TV show Alone? It's pretty hardcore. Like I think they go up to Canada and they have to survive the winter alone. Yeah. Anyone seen it? Oh yeah, I haven't seen yeah, that. Yeah, a, a, a lot of fake stuff. And... A lot of fake stuff in that show. Is that is that true? Is that is that like bu- some of a bullshit? I've thought about that. Yeah, I mean, in of fact, cat. I can't identify the individual, but um, I have worked and currently do work with an individual who is involved with reality shows of this nature. Uh, oh. Also worked with uh, Les Stroud very intimately. That's all I can say. But uh, basically, a lot of the stuff that is put up on TV, especially with these reality shows of survival, are totally fucking made up and fake. Wow, that's all it work. Um, um oh. yeah, it's. I think it's partially a work. It's probably got some truth, but like Dave said, it's probably like got a lot of like exaggerated uh, stuff. I'll be honest. If, if shit goes as I would like it to go and things have been sort of delayed, you'll probably see me on one of these shows in the future. Let's at hope. Least as a producer. But, uh, you know, I do have my ins and such, and uh, I'm big, big speaking from the heart here. Like, this is what has been told to me by people who have worked in this industry and have uh, actually worked on reality shows, is that when it comes to uh, survival-type shows, a lot of the stuff that you're being presented with uh, – totally false and i mean what's his name uh bear grills um mm. a lot of the stuff that you know he's done has been pointed out to be totally false so well, well um uh, smith's the did duck out and dan kennedy i hope you're doing well i mean i hope to talk to dan a little bit more about his uh, uh covid i hope you feel better dan um, yeah get better dude i am gonna run mm-hmm. uh because great I, show man I, it was good to hang out for a little bit we did about an hour and 30 minutes or so he is early. dave uh I you know for my shit too uh, we'll we'll talk more about uh, you know we'll do something coming up soon, Dave. Uh, I know we're we're get some stuff to do. You, maybe you and Jesse will do something. We can find Jesse. Um, I gotta if I could get that guy consistent. You know you'd be getting fucking ordered chaos every fucking week. Um, I have the ability to do uh, you know some shows for you when it comes to Star Trek stuff, which I would love to do because it really does feed into uh, my love of Star Trek. You know, but we do need to do a show when it comes to just talking Star Trek and stuff. But then there's Final Frontier News, which mm-hmm. some people have been saying, oh, well, it's over now. Like, uh, you know, like clearly D- D- Joe was just trying to like put Dave on and like it's over. Um, oh, Joe's Joe's been kind of busy. And I mean, it's, you know, you guys don't work in the background, but I do. And when I tell you that, yeah, it's hard to get, you know, nail Joe down. It's because the guy has shit to do. Meow so. Meow is approaching 200 subs. Dave is working hard. We got more to go. I'm just getting settled in on my new stuff and learning my last couple of, you know, new schedules last couple of weeks. But luckily I've been setting yes, it. Sir. I got some good time on Wednesdays, and I've got Sundays where I'm just pretty much taking a break on Sundays. That way I don't blow up, um, which will give me time to record with Dave and not really do any streaming at all on Tuesdays. So that's cool. Um, you guys are the best. Uh, meow Meow, uh, go check him out. He's got sneakers, motherfucker. And, uh, you know, Dave, uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk more about what we're going to do with Dave this week. Tomorrow night's the Monday Night Raw review, maybe, if I feel like it. It's raw sucks. Yeah. I got to hit um, that like button, though. Yeah, hit that like button. And Allison Takwa drop, drop hun- dropped like 100 bucks. So, Allison, thank you. Drop kicking in the ass. Later. Oh, of the drop night. Kicking. Drop kicking. Uh, and we wait. got a long distance call from Anazi himself. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Smitsta was great. Um, oh, yeah. You know, December's no. kicking off. I got my Christmas tree today, so that was fun. We played Twister, Dave. The I have kids. to improve my accent now. Also, yeah, anybody that thinks going. that uh, somebody that buys a, a natural tree is doing harm to the environment, uh, they're an idiot. Because there's more resources that go into actually making a plastic tree than there is to growing a tree that then they get purposely replanted because you got to reforest shit, right? And it's actually better for the environment. You know, so uh, if anyone wants to uh, shit on you, Joe, tell them to go fuck themselves. I don't know anybody that would shit on me for that. That's weird. I mean, my wife. Well, all- there are liberals out there that will be like, oh, my gas, wife said and, this. Like, that's all evil and stuff. It's like, how do you think your kayak got built? Your kayak's built of fucking polyesterine. Leah okay? said this. Leah said, 
I, I dude, she I never I don't know why in, in like a whim at that we we're at the, we we're looking for the trees tonight, and she said I almost wanted to get. I feel bad because I almost wanted to get a plastic one because it's bad for something, and I went what? And then she was like, yeah, I don't know, and she was laughing, and I was like, that you even <laughs> thought that is concerning? I was like, what? I was oh, like, who no. thought? I'm like, what trees are bad? She said this, and I was like, what? But I've never heard her talk like that, so I was like, what? But it was just funny. She said it, like, for a second. Like, yeah. I almost thought about, you know, and I was like, yeah, that will never happen. Like, and <laughs> like it would never do that. And she was like, I know. I, I don't know why I thought that. I'm like, yeah. It's, uh, no, don't think. But, no, it's, uh, it's great yeah. to have the tree. And, listen, as long as you plant some trees and flowers and stuff, you'll be all right, you know? If you take a Christmas tree every year, go plant a tree somewhere. That's all you know. It, it, it's easy. You don't have to build a. You don't have to buy a plastic one. You know, what I mean, thinking you'll save the environment. You know how you save the environment? Buy a Christmas tree and then plant like five trees. You can literally send twenty five dollars or thirty dollars to you know uh, something, and they'll plant trees, well, or you can plant well, it. You're you can go do it. Also, you buy it. You buy a Christmas tree from these people. They got to keep their business going. They're gonna plant a couple of other trees right. after you bought one. Dude, it's I not, mean, people like, don't want to deal with the mess. I, just, I mean, just that's not it a, it's not a valid reason. Didn't Mr. Beast have this whole organization where you donate a dollar and they plant a tree? Yes. I mean, it's kind of a scam, but if you really want to make sure that you plant the tree, there are literally all these things where you can go plant a tree. There's there's like a dude who ha who bought, he's got tons of land in New York and in New Hampshire and Vermont and Massachusetts. That guy has a company website right there, like plant a tree vacation. So you go on this like vacation, you get to do all this stuff, like hayride, all this other stuff. Then you can literally plant a tree. So you can you can um, take a tree that they started growing, take it and then pair and then plant it into the into the fucking ground, right? And then you can actually donate and you donate like whether it's five bucks or five hundred dollars, and you get to do all this stuff for just a, at least a five dollar donation and up, and like you get to do all this stuff. So that puts that does it right there. So if you if you don't like, you know, if you're up, if you feel guilty about the Christmas trees. Go plant twenty trees. Take because a Christmas tree is, is like fifty to a hundred dollars now. So if you take fifty dollars, you can plant like fucking t like fifteen trees. So that's all you do. You don't have to get a plastic one that that costs oil, gas, and all and plastics that never fucking dissipate out of the environment. Just go plant some trees. Like you don't, you know what I mean? It's almost like uh, it's like you're doing the what's the thing like? Oh, my back hurts, so I'm gonna take a pill. But it's like, is your back hurting for some other reason? Like, so you should probably address that. Like, not just take a pill when it hurts. You should figure out why it's hurting. You yeah, know, you, you're bent. Your 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 back is bent improperly as you lean over your fucking computer screen, and you can't straighten up your uh, your posture. That's why your back is feeling bad. Right. And so oh. for them, it's like, oh well, man, the environment's getting destroyed. I'm gonna buy a plastic tree. Well, what, what the fuck? No, go plant a tree. Put back in the I earth. Mean, what you take out of the earth, put it back in. That's what you should do. Not all, instead of, I'm going to not take from the earth, but I'm going to take from the earth because the plastic tree is taken from the earth. So, recycle. come on. Anyway, there you go. That's that's the only thing I can think. I'm going to go Good ask trip. I'm going to go ask Leah what she thinks about all this. All right, good night guys. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate good it. Night, Joe. Good night. Peace. Meow meow. Take care. Uh, I went way longer than I expected. I was going to go an hour, so it's not that longer, actually. It's an hour and a half. I appreciate you guys being here and supporting the channel like you did tonight. And I'm so sorry about last night. Like I said, optical migraine. I laid on the floor and passed out. I was in excruciating pain and passed out. And then I, I didn't wake up really until the next morning at 9 a.m. I slept forever. And I hadn't slept. So for two days, really, I had two hours of sleep. So that was a big reason why. Rose, what's up, man? Hit the like button if you guys can. If you guys really can, support my channel by going to patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. There's 150 patrons now. Um, we had a 163 last month. And thanks to Skittles, who became a producer again, uh, we will have the new graphic. in th Coming this week, the new graphic for the Patreon. So look for that. You'll get your name on it if you're a $25 producer. And, of course, I'll shout out all the new patrons, and you'll get your stuff in the description box down below. 
and so much more. We have a lot to do, but uh, it is what it is. We'll see you tomorrow night for the Monday Night Raw Review. Friday night's Friday Night Throwdown. And hopefully we'll really get to do monetize this. But I, I may actually do, I possibly may do something Tuesday night. Maybe even monetize this. So I don't know yet 100% on that, but maybe. So look for that. Um, that's really it. Sent you a pic of a scene in Young Rock set in 2030 about Dwayne's past. He showed the universal title. Might mean something. Hmm. It might mean something, but it might also mean that he just uses current titles for whatever reason. I don't know. Thank you to Allison Takwa for the 99.99 donation. That's huge. Big bomb from Allison. Thank you, Allison. Thank you. Everybody else who donated tonight, thank you. Pasharo, Allison, Colonel Stutters, Joshua, David, Chief Wahoo became a member. And so did Josh. And Donnie M, 36 months. Drew Bar, 100. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow night. I hope you guys click that like button. And check out my Patreon. Seriously. There's thousands of shows on Patreon. So many shows on Patreon, guys. And new ones coming. Become a patron. You don't want to miss out. We're going to do stuff over there. You won't see it. So come over to Patreon. You can download it on your phone, mobile app, tablet, etc. All right. I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, Joe, if you're listening, you stupid fuck. He looks like a one of those guys that from Long Island that wants to be a white rapper, but he's 30-something years old, lives in his parents' basement with the droopy cap and the whatever, but he thinks he's Howard Stern, and he's got a cool way of talking in the microphone, uh, and he's a shock jock or whatever, and somehow or another he accumulates followers on the on Twitter it's fucking pathetic so please nobody listen to anything involving a guy named Joe Cronin because it's just so fucking sad 